So hello guys, this is the continuation of my previous tutorial about inserting, deleting, creating and updating values in the table. Um, we left here with our delete query. Let me save this one. Uh, delete query. Yeah. And I can close everything. Let's review our table. So it is consisting of UID, first underscore name, last underscore name, address and age. So now we'll talk about forms. Okay, we'll talk about forms. So let's go directly to create form. To create a form, we'll be selecting this create tab and uh, we want to start everything from scratch. So basically we'll select the blank form. Okay, let me yeah, select that one. And as you can see, okay, as you can see, uh, there's nothing inside it so we want to click on the view and design view so it will show you a grid okay. these grid will be a guideline for your design okay so I'll click on the design as you can see we have so many objects here so many objects so for example I want to create okay something that the users will fill out so for example this is my let's say this is my first name. First name. Okay. Uh, I can adjust. Okay. First name. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, let's magnify a bit. Okay. So it's something like this. Okay. It's something like that. So first name and uh, let me align this for a while. Yo. We have that. So first name and then this input field. So I can just control C and control V. Yeah. So this will basically be our last name. This will be our address and this will be our age. So let me do that for a while. I'll change this to last name. Okay. And I'll change this one to address. Okay. Now also change this one. Yeah. For age. Now, what's important here is never forget. Okay. Never forget to rename this one okay so click on the first input field okay select other and this property sheet and then I'll name this F name which you can name on whatever name you want okay this one also other again text to this will be a last L name yeah L name okay this is address so let's just type in lock which stands for location L O C okay and this one is the age so let's just type in A G for age okay A G so F name L name lock and A G now of course uh, we'll create a button so click here and then yeah, drag yeah something like this and it will show something just click cancel okay I can rename this one by double clicking and let this be add to table to table okay so add to table now I, I can click here again and other name uh, let me change this to btn add okay btn add okay magnify so that you can see yeah btn add okay one more time this one okay is f name okay this one is l name this one is lock okay and last this one is for h or ag ag okay let me close my magnifier now okay we can actually see the actual uh, view of this by clicking on the form view. So there we go. See the user will fill something out here. Okay. okay. Let me go back to my design view. Because, of course, this is not functioning yet. Okay. We need to do programming in order for it to connect to our table. So to do that, click on your button, which is named BTN Add. What's important here is click on the event. Okay, let me magnify. Click on the event. See this? Okay. 
click on the event and then on click okay on click and then you will see a drop down here uh, event procedure okay that's the thing that you want to do okay on click now let's close this one you see this four uh, dots in a bottom you can click that and it will show something to you which is this one okay it's loading yeah there we go so which is this one and here we will do programming we will do programming okay so I'll just so I will just type in um, let's say dim um, insert string as a string okay. oh, I got something here yeah insert string as string yeah there we go I thought it's, <laughs> it's an error. Okay, let me magnify this one. Okay, so insert string, okay, which is basically this one, okay, equals, okay, equals, and what we want to do is we want to insert. So insert into users TBL, which is basically the name of our table. Okay, what are the fields that will be affected? So first underscore name, last underscore name, address, and what's the other one? It's age. Yeah, very good. So values, so the same thing that we did last tutorial, but the difference is in this one, we'll start everything from a quotation mark, the end sign, okay dot f name okay which is basically the name of the field okay and before this uh, really sorry about that okay there we go Do the same thing okay and okay and me dot l name is basically the same space this one and then me me that lock okay me that lock mm. and last but not the list me that uh, what's that one ag yeah we named it ag uh, before this I forgot I forget this most of the time yeah. so after this one um is this uh, I guess um we'll do something like this. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Hmm. So there we go. So there we go. This expected end of statement. Uh why? Ah is it something like this? Yeah. yeah, there we go. So here, this must be. I'm sorry about my camera. Here, it must be. Yeah, must uh, close with a semicolon to be followed by your quotation mark. Okay, so something like that. Now, here um, you'll do do cmd do command that run SQL. And what's the name of our SQL? Of course, it's insert string. Okay. Do command run SQL insert string. Okay. Save this and you can close this window. Okay, let me close my magnifier. Okay, yeah. Ah, oh, we closed the whole thing. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Now let me open it again. TrialDB. Annoying. Okay, format. Let's have that. Okay. And from here, we can actually try. So, for example, first name, I want to Tristan. Okay. 
have that? Yeah, Tristan, let's say Umanta. Okay, address, um, let's say Batangas. Age, let's say 22. Add to table. Okay, Tristan, Umanta. Okay, Batangas. Yes, okay. And if we'll open my user table again, so you can see it adds, okay, Tristan, Umandap, Batangas, 22. Okay, so, um, yeah, so I'll open this again. Now, I'll add something. So to do that, click on View, Design View, and uh, let me widen this one, okay, and select all of these, and I'll just adjust them a bit yeah. higher okay there we go now I'll create um, or put um, what can we put here okay yeah I'll, I'll put sub form so I'll click on sub form and I'll just drag it here so it will look like this uh-huh and it will pop something out like this one so I'll click next okay so let me magnify so I want to show everything okay I want to show everything okay every fields every column so I'll just click this one so that yeah if you do not want want to show something like for example the address I can make this go back okay since I want everything I'll make this go back okay um, yeah there click next okay and let's say uh, this is user sub okay user sub okay, please do remember the name user sub okay and I'll click finish Doo -doo -doo -doo. while it is loading I'll be closing my view the magnifier okay so basically if you run this one design view uh -huh. form view okay, you can see the data here now there's a problem so for example uh, I'll add a C. Okay, a C let's say let's say emus okay, age 20 add okay so a c emus okay, okay now the problem is it does not automatically refresh it's not refreshing okay so to do that okay first um i'll click f4 do we have that yeah, no, because we are, you must be on the design view. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is named user tab. Okay, now event procedure. Okay, make sure you are clicking on your sub form. You can see we have a yellow border here. Okay, on enter event procedure, and you can click this four dots again, and it will reveal something like this. Or and actually we can just do something like this uh, yeah I can remove this actually and from here do cmd run sql I can just type in user sub which is basically the name that form that do we have refresh yeah, that refresh so user sub that form that refresh we actually have that form let's try this so design uh, let's go to form uh, let's say um, Brian uh, we do not have Brian yet Amanda twin uh, type 22 add okay Brian Amanda Gaitai not automatically refreshing why why hmm 
Okay, let me check my query. Ah, I know. I know now. I'm really sorry. Uh huh. Click this one and here. So it's not actually a refresh. Let this be requery. Okay. You're refreshing it, requery. Okay. So uh, let me run now on form view. So we have here. So let's say Leia. Mandap Tagaytay. Let's say 40. Okay. And add that. Let's say Leia. Mandap Tagaytay. Yes. And there we go it automatically adds so that's basically it it must not be refresh it must be requery i'm really sorry about that so you can actually go back and slow this tutorial down okay i can uh yeah i can show the codes one more time so that uh, you'll have a guideline so let me run with this one so insert string which is um declared here Okay, and then insert into user TBL, first name, last name, address, age, values. Okay, we named our fields F name, okay, L name, okay, what else? Lock, which is talking about, you know, our, our address or my address and AG, which is talking about my age, okay, to close this one. Parentheses, semicolon, and yeah, quotation mark. So that's basically it for today. Thank you so much for listening. Okay, you may watch this over and over again if you need or if you have a question, feel free to message me. Thank you so much and God bless.